better two wheels better hmm could mean anything not just necessarily motorcycles of course scooters they come in all shapes and sizes two wheels three wheels and we've got a little piece here that will just impress you because these scooters are the business This is Eric Tudor from the Lancashire Lions Scooter Club. Eric, tell me about this mods and rockers, this divide, bikes and scooters. Does it, does it still exist? No, no. As far as I know, it doesn't. I mean, we've come out today like it's full of bikers. We've come out with kids, scooters and that. No problem. No hassle whatsoever. But this is this is a bikey venue. It has to be said. It is a bikey venue. Scooters are a, not uncommon, but it's not common to see a big gang arriving. I mean, you don't feel like you're going to get set upon like you, maybe you did years ago. Well, if it was the 70s, yeah. We would have done, but now I mean, everything's changed. There's nothing like that. as long as you've got two wheels and you're on the road, nobody's bothered. There's no right. hassle whatsoever. But it did happen, didn't it? I mean, you must have had some scares in the 70s because you've been doing this a long, long time, haven't you? Oh, it did happen. I mean, uh, I've got a couple of cuts and bruises, for sure. Uh, yeah, it did go on. So, does it still happen anywhere? There must be some narrow-minded people who still think we're better than them and they're better than us and whatever. Uh, there is, but I think it depends on what films they've been watching. You know, if they watch some sort of easy ride, they go out with a chip on the shoulder and they think, first scooter I see is going to get it. And right. that's about it. Other than that, it never happens. Right, smashing, right. Well, I know I've let onto scooters sometimes. They never let on back to me. Do you let onto bikers? Uh, yeah, no, but, be honest. Yeah, yeah, I nod know, to them and all that, yeah, yeah. but... Uh, <laughs> There's no ass, like it. you no know, I, I think it's all got it under right. bridge that it's gone now. Right. Everybody's too old for fighting now anyway, aren't they? Well, I, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> too old and too big. So I've got Gordon and Ernie with me now. Ernie, not as in the fastest milkman in the West, like, you know, you haven't been a milkman in the past, have you, by any when chance? I was a kid, yeah. Yeah, you were, were you? Yeah. <laughs> Nicking bottles of milk or actually <laughs> oh, delivering them. Yeah. <laughs> right, so Liverpool Scooter Club. We know where you come from. Yeah. What do you get up to? What's the lifestyle of a Liverpool Scooter Club member then? Well, basically, listening to the kind of music that we are, like, you know, 60s, Tamla Motown, but not sticking there, we go on into the 80s and 90s, you know, because people into Oasis and Blair and that, yeah. you know. Um, the clothes, the scooters themselves, either they're dressed up like a mod machine or like bog standard, and the people, it's just yeah. a great lifestyle. So it's good to hear the fact that you haven't got tunnel vision, like, I mean, because it's because it's scooters and that's your life, you're not, like, suggesting for a minute nothing else is good enough. No. You're happy to blend and, and obviously change your ways. How about you then, Gordon? I mean, you, you're obviously not from Liverpool, I know this. No, I'm not, no. Uh, originally, I'm from Edinburgh. I've been into the scooter season since 1979. And to me, it, it's my way of life. My, my scooter is totally different from Ernie's. Ernie's is more of the mod style. I was more of the, the ska sort of like reggae ska type uh, he's seen uh, skinhead when I was younger which oh, was you now <laughs> I must behave yourself uh, I don't uh, know yeah. <laughs> totally like uh, but I mean it, it is a way of life uh, my life is based around my scooter my, my, my whole way of life is based around my scooter because uh, it's just something that I've always did like you know is it a family it, thing though as well God? oh yeah uh, my lad he's 16 this year and uh, he's got a scooter now. It's just just been dressed up, just finished. But he's more on of Ernie's side of the thing. You know, he wants mirrors and he, the Parker and the mod side. But I don't know if it, if he's been influenced by myself or by people like Ernie. It's been in the club or or what like. But he comes to the rallies. He actually comes to scooter rallies. Comes on the back of me. Uh, now he wants to get in it on his own way, like you know. Yeah. And, uh, Just going back to the bikes, though. Excuse me, one sec then. So you've got two different types of scooters here, and I refer to them as bikes. I mean, perhaps I was out of order there. It's two wheels, nonetheless, though, isn't it? You know. Yeah. yeah. Gordon's son, is you know, does he obviously seek advice? And have you flogged in some cheap or expensive mirrors? And where the flipping it do you get yours to to create this device? A lot of hard work, traveling around to auto jumbles and phone contacts, you know, all over the country, from one end of the country to the other as far as Devon and, and Cornwall up to Glasgow. So you didn't buy it like that? You, you built no, it up yourself? Have you spent it, a fortune? I bought it. It has cost a lot of money, yeah. I mean, some of the chrome on that, it's probably all the chrome on that and the accessories are probably worth as much as the machine because they're so rare. Yeah. It's, it's your passion. It's obviously your pride in enjoying the way that... Would you ever flog it if someone came along and says, yeah, some wonga? No. How about you, Gordon? Would you yours? Not for love, no money. <laughs> these no. are guys, these fellas, obviously, it's their passion, it's their life, they love their scooters. Uh, have a good look at them, they are the business.
Oh, this is Harry, the uh, sc scooting, scooter riding stuntman. Harry, <laughs> tell, tell me about this thing of yours. What is it? Um, well, basically, it's a Lambretta GP200, 1969. Um, but we've done a lot of work on the engine, myself and Eric. Yeah. Um, it's a Yamaha piston, crank, um, a lot of porting we've done on the barrel, and big carbon exhaust. Well, the lads all tell me that this is the scooter that you're trying to turn into a bike, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just you put a lot of bike stuff onto them to make them more reliable and make them quicker and handle better. Right. I like so. this Chesterfield seat, that's very smart, it's isn't it? lovely, that, isn't it? Yeah. Just, I'm just worried about this hole here, what, what's that? Well, we won't, we won't talk about that. So, Harry, I mean, it's obvious you all get together on a Sunday, you go for ride outs now, but you must have a regular meet, where, where do you get together? Uh, we all meet at the Alison Arms at Coppel every right. other Sunday. That's the Lancashire lot. That's the Lancashire Lions, yeah. The Liverpool lot. Do you remember where they mate? Queen's Arms in Derby Street. Well Liverpool. done. I don't think <laughs> I on Thursdays. I don't think you'd remember that. <laughs> well, regular viewers of Two Wheels Better know full well that I've got a passion for sidecars. And yes, this is a scooter sidecar. Eric is the proud owner of this machine. And I actually know that Eric, a little birdie has told me, you've got a flipping bundle of them, what, 30 or 40 the flipping things? I've got a, roughly about 42 scooters now. Of all shapes, colours, sizes? Uh, ranging from 1947 up to the modern day, uh, yeah, all shapes and different colours, uh, I've got one or two, I. That's interesting, that, so you're obviously not, like, you're not narrow-minded, you've obviously got a wide scope of interest in scooters because you've got a modern day machine, it's interesting to know that. Yeah. What, what's your thoughts on the old modern machine, it, you know? Well, I prefer the, the, the old ones, older the better. I, I mean, I like them. Uh, the modern day scooters are, are still brilliant in the cells, like, but I prefer more in about the other ones getting my hands dirty, like. This, the sidecar lark, <laughs> is this to bring the little ones with you? Yeah, I mean, the, the club where I'm in, Lancashire Lions, is like uh, child orientated. And uh, for, fetch the kids, some come in cars. I've actually got the sidecar to fetch all my kids with me. I shove two in there, I am one on the back. Two kids in here, yeah. one on the back. Top box for the missus. <laughs> I don't think she'd fit in there somehow. This is the business and I do feel like I could just, just be chauffeured around in this for an afternoon. <laughs>